Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today is March 25th, 2023. We're going to do the daily readings today. The first one, Lord spoke to Ayaz, I, I probably said that wrong, I'm very sorry, saying, ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Oz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you always weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you the sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And the second reading is Hebrew 10, 4 through 10. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of the bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did, not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, It is written of me in the scroll. Behold, I come to you, uh, I messed it up. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offerings of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Verse before the final reading. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. And the final reading is Luke 1, 26 through 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what he was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will over, overshadow you. Therefore the, sh the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who has called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. That was an amazing message that Mary got, and it was even more amazing that she accepted what was asked of her or was told what happened, that she would be conceiving the Son of our Lord and Savior. Wait, sorry, she would be conceiving, sorry, I messed it up, conceiving the son of uh, the father, her child being our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's really beautiful what's happened here. Every, everything that was mentioned here that would happen with Mary and everything that was mentioned here that happened with her relative. Anyway, that's Saturday's reading. Peace be with you all and have a great Saturday.